हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इज़ माई थर्टी सेकेंड प्रजेंटेशन फॉर द टीम ऑफ फाइनेंस एंड अकाउंट्स एंड द टाइटल इज़ फिफ्टी फाइव एडिशनल क्लॉजेज दैट कैन एडवर्सली इम्पैक्ट दी फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग ऑफ सिक्स मोर नॉन करंट लाइबिलिटीज इन दी बैलेंस शीट पार्ट टू ओवरऑल दिस इज़ माई सिक्सटी थर्ड प्रजेंटेशन कंसिडरिंग ऑल द यूट्यूब प्रजेंटेशन दैट आई मेड सो फार नाउ यू प्लीज रिकॉल इन द माई थर्टी फर्स्ट प्रजेंटेशन आई हैड कवर्ड सिक्स टाइप्स ऑफ नॉन करंट लाइबिलिटीज अर्लियर वेर इन सिक्सटी सिक्स कॉजेज वर आइडेंटिफाइड एंड दिस प्रजेंटेशन इज इंक्लूडिंग एडिशनल मोर सिक्स नॉन करंट लाइबिलिटीज एंड दी वॉट आई प्लान टू कवर इन दिस इज इनएक्रेसिस एंड एथिक्स रिलेटेड फिफ्टी फाइव मोर कॉजेज विच आर देयर कंसिडरिंग दीज सिक्स एडिशनल टाइप्स ऑफ नॉन करंट लाइबिलिटीज स्टार्टिंग फ्राम टाइप सेवन टू टाइप ट्वेल्व एज लिस्टेड बिलो एंड आई एल बी कवरिंग दिस इन दिस समरी इन द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड now the type 7 is long term vendors payable uh, which is uh, has uh, the first row is non uh, long term vendor payable uh, where i have identified four inaccuracy related causes and five ethics related causes that can adversely impact the financial reporting line number 2 uh, type 8 is long term vendor payable on fixed assets line number 3 uh, is uh, type 9 long term dealer security deposit Uh, received uh, which having three inaccuracies related and three ethics related causes long term uh, line number 4 is long term advances from customers uh, line number 5 uh, uh, is long term provisions for employees benefits like ltc gratuity uh, others and uh, last sixth one is uh, long term uh, provisions for warranties uh, so total number of inaccuracies identified are 25 for Uh, uh, 25 uh, inaccuracy rated and 30 ethics rated, totaling to 55. Now, just to reiterate, these 55 additional causes are over and above the 66 causes which were identified earlier for six non-current liabilities in part one of my presentation. Now, type seven, long-term vendors payable. Uh, what are the important aspects for the finance and accounts team? These are, see, normally vendors payable are usually classified as current liabilities. if the payment terms are less than 1 year they fall under trades and other payable in the current liabilities section of the balance sheet however there could be a few exceptional scenarios where a portion of the vendors payable might be considered as long term uh, now this that mean in their cases companies might have some specific agreements with the vendors for extended payment terms exceeding the 1 year and this could be for example the large capital equipment purchases during long terms of installation and commissioning are or project based contracts now in such agreements the portion of the payable exceeding one year could be classified as non current liabilities separately to be separately disclosed as long term vendor payable or included with the other long term payables this disclosure would likely include the total outstanding amount and the maturity dates of the long term portion of the vendor's payable number 3 is the statutory requirements statutory reporting Uh, requirements as mentioned in the para 8.4 in the guidance note on the revised schedule 6 to the companies act 1956 is very important uh, and that needs to be factored in while preparing this uh, 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 value of this and reflecting this in the balance sheet now number uh, the inaccuracy related causes which can uh, lead to incorrect financial reporting for the long term vendor payables are misclassified payables including short term vendors payable within the long term and distorting the company's financial health number 2 inaccurate inaccurate maturity dates number 3 is omission of the significant long term payables and number 4 is errors in calculating the amounts payable which could be mathematical errors or even computation errors ethics related causes uh, for the long term vendor payable intentional misclassification uh, that means short term payable uh, to be classified as long term or vice versa to manipulate the financial ratios hidden payables failing to disclose the long term vendor payable particularly those related to those to related parties uh, can conceal the true extent of the company's liabilities number 3 is lack of transparency number 4 is weak internal controls uh, intentional manipulation of the or errors in the reporting the vendor payable under management pressure or weak internal controls can also increase the risk of misreporting and strategy non conformities as per the guidance note 8.4 next one uh, 
the type 8 which is in our context second liability in this presentation long term entries payable related to the fixed assets uh, important aspects are uh, a classification if the payment terms for the acquiring fixed assets is exceeding one year from the purchase date a portion of the vendor payable might be classified as a non current liability disclosures the disclosure must mention the total amount of the long term portion and which uh, maturity dates third treatment of fixed assets the full cost of the fixed assets including the long term payable amounts to be capitalized on the balance sheet the corresponding depreciation expenses to be calculated based on the total cost of the assets as usual and statutory conformance please refer to the guidance note number 8.4 <coughs> uh, inaccuracy related uh, causes the long term vendor payable related to the fixed assets misclassification of the payables inaccurate maturity dates and errors in uh, calculating the amounts as was prescribed in the earlier previous uh, uh, presentation ethics related uh, causes long term vendors payable related to fixes again similar things intentional misclassification lack of transparency omitting some of the non current uh, li liabilities and statutory non conformance uh, particularly with respect to the fixes reporting as per accounting standard 10 now type 9 long term dealer security deposits the sometime the security deposits are taken uh, to guarantee performance for example minimum sales quote, uh, minimum sales quotas to be uh, accomplished over uh, cover potential damages to the company's property or loan equipment or to ensure proper return of the company's inventory on credit now <coughs> here the second aspect is that uh, one needs to identify, identify whether it is refundable deposit or non refundable and whether it is interest bearing or no interest then classification if the deposit agreement specifies a period exceeding one year it could be classified as a non current liability and disclosures uh, they uh, the outstanding blast balance of the long term portion of the security deposits the related sales channel partners and the major dates they need to be uh, they need to be stated hmm. inaccuracy related causes which can cause incorrect financial reporting uh, for the long term uh, uh, dealer security deposit received dealer or channel partner whatever you call it so number one is misclassified deposits that means short term security deposit treated as long term or vice versa inaccurate maturity dates and errors in calculating the amount ethics related causes these are similar intentional misclassification or lack of transparency and omitting some of the deposits taken next one is long term advances from the customers customer advances are usually classified as current liabilities if the fulfill period is less than one year however there could be a rare exceptions where a portion of the customer advance might be considered as long term uh, number two long term delivery contracts for goods or deliveries of services with a fulfill period of exceeding one year this could be a long term long uh, this could be large custom built equipment or multi year service contracts if such agreements exist the portion of the advance payment exceeding the one year could be classified as a non current liability accounting standards uh, the relevant accounting standard needs to be followed accuracy related aspects which can cause <coughs> uh, 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 financial reporting issues number one is misclassified advances uh, inaccurate maturity dates omission of significant long term advances errors in calculating the advance amounts and improper revenue recognition if the company prematurely recognizes revenue uh, upon receiving the entire customer advance even though the goods or services haven't been delivered it can artificially manipulate the reported earnings ethics related causes long term advances from customers intentional misclassification lack of transparency inadequate transparency of customer disclosure of long term advances can hinder the invest uh, investors understanding omitting improper use of advances using long term advances from the customer for unauthorized purposes Five, fifth is internal controls weak internal controls non conformance in service the accounting standard number 29 type 11 long term provisions for the employees benefits like ltc gratuity and others uh, here these each one needs to be reflected in a separate line items the, the total amount of disclosures to be mentioned under each head the basis of measurement uh, uh, finance and accounting team need to briefly explain the actuarial assumptions and the methods used to estimate the monetary value of the long term employees benefits obligation significant changes report the uh, fnn team needs to report the significant changes in the employee headcount and the uh, revised salary assumption if any maturity profile desirable to show the portion of the individual expected 
to be settled in each of the following following years statutory conformance here the guidance note number 8.5 and accounting standards need to be followed inequity related causes for the long term provisions related to the employee benefits like gratuity etc ltc gratuity sir inaccurate estimate uh, using unrealistic actuarial assumptions or outdated data can distort the company's financial position errors in calculation omission of benefit categories inconsistent accounting policies changes in the accounting policies for the employee benefits without proper assessment can lead to mismatched presentation of the provisions in the financial statements lack of transparency ethics related causes these are intentional under provisioning deliberate underestimating the value of the employee benefits liabilities to manipulate the financial ratio and improve the reported earnings lack of transparency uh, aggressive accounting policies here adopting aggressive assumptions for discounting the future employee benefits applications artificially and reducing the reported liability amount lack of internal controls management override of actual recommendations management pressures to reduce the reported liabilities can lead them to disregard the recommendation from the qualified actuaries resulting in inaccurate financial statements and non conforming to the uh, general guidance note 8.4 and accounting standard 15 <coughs> uh, uh, long term provisions for the warranties important aspects are separate line items need to be indicated total amount of the warranty to be indicated uh, balance, balance basis of estimation to be stated very clearly that means is it based on the historical warranty claim data or it is based on the uh, as expected product life cycle etc of the product significant changes significant changes in the product warranty terms uh, and increase sales volume they need to be indicated that means if the warranty uh, uh, terms are getting changed say from one year to two years uh, or vice versa they need to be reflected and accounting standard to be followed as applicable inaccuracy related causes uh, uh, for the long term provisions of the warranties these are inaccurate estimates Uh, under provisioning or over provisioning errors in calculation of the uh, provisions this could be mathematical errors uh, uh, number 3 is omission of the certain warranties omitting few material warranties of execution and any extended uh, warranties inconsistent accounting policies changing the accounting policies for the warranties and lack of transparency uh, in determination of the value like free replacement or credit notes as per latest spares and labor prices ethics related causes uh, intentional under, under under provisioning lack of transparency aggressive accounting policies adopting optimistic assumptions about the future warranty claim severity or frequency internal controls weak internal controls for example receiving uh, receive not receiving the defective parts allowing claim acceptance beyond warranty policy non conformance to the warranty approval levels in, uh, in in the in the warranty claim process can cause risk of errors mm. warranty credit favoring some dealers or customers in court ex- in acceptance of their warranty claims beyond the warranty policy and non conformance they need to accounting standard accounting standard number 29 related to the provisions of the contingent liabilities future references uh, building on the profitability and ethics my second book which was released on november 23 this blog focuses on the non current liability related aspects and uh, kindly please stay tuned in for my forthcoming third book which will dive deeper into the balance sheet strategies and Uh, ethical practices that can unlock the profitability uh, you can also refer to some of the articles of your interest in my website www.ethicalprocess.com and facebook and linkedin address is given as in this slide thank you very much